what up y'all long time no video but I'm finally gonna do one that I've wanted to do for a long long time and I think I got something good to show you just for fun look at this fucking contraption I had up before I was trying to like figure out a cool way to have it like high up but you could still see the details and I could like use all my both of my arms not all of my arms uh, but yeah I gave up on that so this is my jacket it's a flathead type 2 man look at this fucking jacket honestly Flathead Type 2, model number is uh, 6002W. I know it was, I think it's discontinued, um, but I, you could probably find it somewhere. I can't believe they would discontinue this thing, though. I mean, it's like <laughs> the best Type 2 jacket you could ever have. Like, I've had it for a couple years. I've had it for two and a half years, I think, maybe. Worn it, like, a decent amount because, if you're not familiar, um, it's kind of hard to get fades on a denim jacket, but I think I've done pretty good. So, yeah, let's get into it. So, it's Type 2 jacket, you know, classic Levi's style. Most people uh, know the Type 3. But I like the Type 2 because Type 3 has kind of entered, like, you know, the mainstream consciousness. And usually I don't really give a shit about what other people wear and I just like to wear what I wear. But there's just, like, so many shitty Type 3s out there that I, I honestly feel like the Type 3 look has gotten almost shitty in my eyes. Just because I've seen so many terrible jackets that are Type 3s. But, I mean, you're not going to see a Type 2, like, anywhere. So, it's, it's a little weird, but it's not, you know, so weird that people are going to be like, what the fuck are you wearing? Which is okay, too, because there's a lot of cool stuff that are like, what the fuck are you wearing? Alright, let's look. Oh, well, something that's cool is, uh, I don't really have any pins on any of my stuff. I know that with denim jackets, people, a lot of the time, like to have, like, you know, a bunch of crazy-ass pins on it and stuff. But I have this one pin from Good Art, and, uh, if we could have reading time with John King... Good Art Hollywood, California, shit hot quality. I think it's hilarious that they have the phrase shit hot quality on like a very serious looking, nice quality pin. Uh, usually you see that on DIY stuff. That would be like funny, but yeah, I love it. So, uh, it's a normal flathead Pioneer denim, 14 and a half ounces pre-soak. We got a goat skin patch, which weirdly like has not aged at all. It's so weird because like, I've had it for two years, and it's near my, like, neck, too, so you'd think you'd get all that like, good neck sweat on there to age it and stuff, but no, I mean, if you had a, if you had a pair of jeans and you're looking at the patch, it's gonna be aged as hell two years into it, but this one, like, looks brand new, but yeah, it feels super nice, smells good, 602W, size 40, if you can find one, um, just get your same flathead size, I'm, like, a medium, and this 40 is, uh, really slim buttoned up, but I don't really wear it buttoned up, and very short, but that's how it's supposed to fit. So, I think the arms are just, like, the best example of why I fucking love Flathead. Because, you can see, the denim is just, like, at this point, it's super soft. It has a beautiful blue color. And, of course, the vertical fading. That's, that's why you buy Flathead. If you want to get, you know, Flathead jeans, you should do it because you like how this looks. Of course, if you decide not to wash your jacket at all or your jeans at all, you're not really going to get that. You're just going to, it's just going to be really white here. But that's not how I like to do it. Um, so we can see, let's see, you got the rivet, I want to fix the white balance, can I, yeah, okay. Um, you got the rivet there, uh, pure copper, we got, like, some kind of roping along here, which is cool, um, because this jacket was a one wash, so that meant that they probably shrunk it a lot at the factory. You got a lot of puckering at the seams right here. This is kind of like the equivalent of the yoke on a pair of jeans, it seems like, and of course up here. Got a lot of puckering. Yeah, I think that you can really see how, how fucking amazing this jacket looks. I mean, just look at that thing. It's crazy. Um, yeah, let's look at the back. Back. Alright, so the back is pretty basic. Nothing really too crazy going on here. You got the, maybe it's still called the yoke. Um, it looks super cool. I love how it gets all puckered and, you know, you can see like the little dots of white. That's, you know, one of my favorite details on stuff. You got pure iron buttons here. Uh, I always leave this one. Oh, I thought I was undone. Anyway. Um, and you got some, like, darts here, kind of. Usually, I'm not a fan of darts. These are kind of like darts. I don't know. But you can't, you can't do anything about these. They're just going to be there. I don't really know why they even made it. Maybe it's because it's plain back. It would look weird if you didn't have anything on it. Or you can't make it. Actually, it might make it bigger. Yeah, it probably makes it bigger. <sighs> what else is there about this jacket? But yeah, I just wanted to do a little update on my jacket. I've worn it for, like I said, two and a half years. Probably wear it at least once every couple days. And um, I couldn't tell you really how much I've washed this thing. 
it's just a lot different than jeans where you wear them literally every day and you know you usually have like an mo for how you wash your jeans but i wash it whenever it feels dirty even when it doesn't feel dirty and i haven't worn it for a while and it just seems like maybe a wash would be nice and uh, i think it looks all the better for it oh yeah well, this is important how can i forget that uh, you can look at the combs all right got some arm combs over here got some arm combs over here so yeah i'm pretty proud of this jacket honestly i think that um a lot of people when they get denim jackets like you're not really gonna see them worn that often because it just takes so long to wear them um i think also you can like cut this open and then make it bigger and then sew it back but like i would never ever do that to a jacket like this i just feel like i'm gonna fuck it up but luckily i haven't had to so because i just wear them unbuttoned but yeah this is a flathead type 2 6002 w uh i think that this is honestly the best type 2 you could ever ask for i mean it has flathead denim which is already makes it like leagues above other things in my opinion and then of course you have a perfect perfect fit it's not extended in the length which i i really hate seeing so many jackets have like extended lengths because it's like if you want the long length denim jacket just come up with your own because it, in my opinion it just doesn't work i mean it was specifically made to look like this it's looked like this for 40 years buy it and have it because you like how it looks or make a new thing that has a longer length um and people don't have to wear high-rise pants or just be like me and feel very uh and feel the breeze because i like lower mid-rise pants and i still wear short ass stuff on top <clears throat> i was looking at like a sugarcane jacket all that stuff I'm so happy I went the flathead. Years later, I know as a guaranteed fact, 100%, I would have sold a sugarcane jacket or a samurai jacket or an SDA jacket or whatever because this is the fucking jacket to get. Yeah, I hope you've uh, enjoyed my ex expletive laced rant about why I like my denim jacket so much. And maybe I'll make some more videos. But as of now, I'll see you later. Peace.